So this next session is uh, on the biology of the beetles. And uh, I work for the Forest Service, and a lot of the issues that we deal with nowadays are invasive insects and pathogens. And one thing that we've seen um, with all of these new invasives is that we know very, very little about them when they arrive in this country. The Asian longhorn beetle, the emerald ash borer, we knew nothing about these species when they arrived here. Uh, even species like uh, the beetle that transmits thousand cankers disease, we knew very little about that. And certainly the Red Bay Ambrosia beetle was, you know, nothing more than a, a few pin, pin specimens in a collection somewhere, nothing about its biology. I think we have a little bit of an advantage here with this, with this situation, whether it's Euwalacea fornicatus or something else. We, we have some idea of the biology of this, of this system with the fungus and we know what it's carrying. Uh, we know something about, about this whole system. But we still have a lot more to learn, as, as Yuri said. There's things we know, things we don't know. So what we're going to hear now are a series of presentations um, on the biology of the insect, of the beetle. Uh, and we have a little change in schedule here. Uh, Sampath's presentation, I guess, isn't loading properly, so we're going to skip him. And if we have a chance to, to jump back to him later on, we'll do that. Otherwise, we're going to start with Kiti from Sri Lanka talking about non-chemical and uh, management and chemical ecology of the beetle. <laughs> 